Hello, my name is Dan Phillips, owner and technical advisor for U.S. Seller Systems. Today we are going to be showing you how to connect our wiring harness to your evaporator coil for the electrical. As we covered before, everything is coming from the digital controller mounted in the wall. You now have three wires that are being brought up to the evaporator coil. You've got a black wire, a white wire, and a red wire. The first place we'll start with is your power coming in from your circuit breaker box will be connected to the black wire. And you twist those together and place a wire nut on it. Then inside the evaporator coil you're going to have five wires. You've got a green wire which will be connected to your ground. You have two blue wires, which are the solenoid valve, and a black wire and a white wire for the fan motor. Take one of the blue wires and one of the black wires, connect those together, and then connect that to the red wire on your wiring harness. Twist those together and put a wire nut on it. Next, you have the white wire and the second blue wire. These will get wire nutted together or twisted together. Add to that the white wire from your wiring harness and then to that you will connect your neutral coming in from your power source. Wire nut those together now you are ready to power up the digital controller and the fan motor keeping in mind when you do so there is a 10 minute time delay on the fan on the digital controller before it starts operating anything so be sure after this lights up give it the full 10 minutes before you worry about anything happening because the controller will not start anything for 10 minutes. Thank you.